Earth signs. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's popping? What's going down in the life of Earth sign, baby? <laughs> Welcome to the Mocha Love Terror channel. This is your first time you're on my channel. Hey, boo, hey. Also, this is your first time you're on my channel. Hey, look out. I may cuss a little. I may cuss a lot. Hey, I'm Mocha. Um, oh, goodness. This is a general, you guys. This is not personal. I'm sorry that I'm not going to be on camera. I'm not going to allow y'all to see my little swollen lip nose and all of that stuff because my sinuses are really cutting loose. I don't know what's going on with this Houston, Texas air, but I'm not with the shits, okay? So bear with me, family. Also, um, this is a general, y'all. It's not personal. If you need a personal reading, I currently have a sale on my personal reading for until Thursday at 1 a.m., okay? So you guys, it's on my 30, 45 minute and an hour reading. You can take $15 off from the published price. So for example, my 30 minute reading is usually $65. Right now, it's $50, so get it in, okay? Um, and I am available, okay? So just make sure you get your emails and your payments in, and then we can definitely schedule. Even if you don't actually get to, get to the reading until Friday, it's scheduled for the discounted price, okay? So we rock in. To all of my new subscribers, welcome to the family. Y'all, we don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss, okay? We cuss a little. We share, we love, we grow, we enlighten, we evolve, okay? Positive vibes only, okay? Um for my earth signs, I had to push you guys back as far as this is a new series that I'm doing. I am still going to do the October Generals. Everything's still coming on time and swiftly. It's just a bonus. And it's called the Fuck This Aries Moon Energy Looking Like. Okay, this is just a checkup, check in, check in on my family, see what's going design. Okay, so I did, um, I'm going to leave you guys with some internal, you know, more so. It's coming from the deck. It's the Universe Has Your Deck by Gabrielle Bernstein, okay, but it's just a positive message to leave you all with because the universe is literally pushing all of my earth signs to have faith, and some of y'all are literally fighting like the fat kid in the candy store, okay, so y'all got to get it together, but I love y'all, we're going to love you, I'm going to love y'all right on through it, okay, the old, the general message that I have for all three, all three of y'all, okay, um, uh, and this again it will be for Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and that order. Y'all, could y'all please, please, please be kind enough for me, please, to timestamp somebody, okay? Thank you in advance, and I love you. I love you long time, okay? So, I, I'm going to start off with Capricorn. My general message for um, the Earth signs is have faith. Have faith during this time because a lot of moves are being made, not to you, okay, or not against you, but for you, in your favor. You may not see it right now, but it's moving, baby, okay? It's winning season, all right? So during this time, a lot of y'all are needing to accept the re receiving, renewals, restructures, kind of like what I told air signs. I'm seeing that with my earth signs, too. All right, so we, we starting off with Capricorn. Here we go. Capricorn spirit literally wants you to focus on yourself bringing back self-love self-restoration okay putting yourself first all right all right because if you ain't good you can't be good for nobody else all right i feel like a lot of y'all during this time during this aries full moon period what the full moon is bringing in for you guys is the dropping of the burden it's time to drop and you go from the nine to the ten drop them baby for some of you all it's involving a marriage okay it could have to do with the libra gemini i see cancer pisces scorpio here i also see aries leo but I feel like if you're dealing with a fire sign, this person is very burdensome to you during this time. I feel like a lot of y'all are trusting your intuition and you're really starting to put yourself put. I feel like some of y'all are also like putting away coins. The fact that Capricorn is a materialistic sign as far as bringing things into and pretty much bringing the tangible things, you know, to the surface. The fact that I don't see no coins here shows me y'all putting up money. Capricorn, y'all putting up some coins. Some of y'all are hiding money during this time, and I don't blame you. Some of y'all are going into new cycles, and for some of y'all, you're moving alone, okay? For some of you, you all, uh, some of y'all have been married for nine years. Some of y'all have been married for 20 years, 21 years. Some of you all has been uh, about 10 or 11, but I feel like some of you all has been two. Some of you all has been 10. Some of you all has been six, but I feel like for those of you who are married, Especially if you're partnered with a Gemini, a fire sign, or a Libra. I feel like you feel that things are unfair. You're tired of this person making you feel like you're not enough, that you don't have enough, that they don't accept you, or that you're small, okay? So I feel like Capricorn, y'all moving away from this shit. Intuitively, you already know you're finna have to bust a move, bust a wicked, wicked, wicked. And I feel like a lot of y'all are have gotten so comfortable that you're kind of focused on like, you know, what's going to happen? Where am I going to go? What's, what's, what's going to go? What's really the fuck going to go down? 
okay? But some of you, you're going to want right into the hands of another soulmate, but you needed to have faith, okay? And spirit is pushing you to put yourself first in order for that process to take place. A lot of y'all are, people are kind of giving to you during this time, okay? Be receiving to gifts from the universe. Be receiving to nice gestures from strangers, okay? Don't be like, I don't know you, okay? So what? You don't know them. That don't mean you can't take the free damn cup of coffee. You was going to spend your $3.50 on that shit anyway. Why not? Come on now. All right? It's okay to receive. Only thing you do is give, 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 give. What about you, Capricorn? What about you? Okay? I strongly feel that some of you are, okay, maybe going through some legal issues, and I want you to know that justice is going to go in your favor, okay? I strongly see that this is all happening because for some of you all, it's having to do with the karmic cycle, okay? You're ending your karmic cycles. You're starting over, Capricorn. You're walking into a new beginning. For some of you, it's with love. For some of you all, it's just strictly focusing on the self, okay? You're focusing on the self, getting me right financially, making sure I'm securing my feelings since I can't depend on nobody in my outer realm to do that shit for me. It's about what you're going to allow and accept going forward. If this person is getting on your damn nerves, get that monkey off your back, baby. Some of y'all going to be getting that monkey off your back during this time. You're going to get that monkey off your back and you're going into a new cycle. And for some of you, you ain't you, you walking into the, into the midst of good karma. For some of you all who are dealing with the Libra, this person is very burdensome to you during this time. I feel like some of y'all are trusting y'all intuition and knowing that you're going to have to move away from a person. But I feel like you're kind of, it's like a fear of being alone for some of you all. And it's also a fear of like just wanting everything to be fair. You don't want to leave this person out in the cold. You know, you don't want to be left out in the cold. But at the same time, I got to put myself first because you are you, whoever you, whoever this person is, Capricorn matters, not the sign. I feel like you are no longer fulfilling me. So before I fucking flip my wig and go crazy, I'm going to give back to myself, put that love into myself. I'm going to trust my intuition. Yes, you are a soulmate. But for some of y'all, you are karmic. This is a karmic damn soulmate. And the wheel has turned. And for some of you, you stay even after the wheel has turned the game. Okay. And for some of y'all, the damn wheel finna break. It's time to jump off the hamster wheel, okay? You need that personal hit me up. Y'all let me know, you know, uh, how this resonates. But for Capricorn, I have. Okay. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. It's about how you see it and what you're choosing not to see, Capricorn, what I feel for some of y'all. Okay. I love y'all, family. Let's rock. Taurus, popping Taurus. Taurus, during this time, Taurus, you're passionate about something. For some of you, you have a fire sign coming in your energy, okay? I feel like a lot of y'all are really finding that love for the self. Some of y'all are really feeling sexy again. Y'all got options flowing in during this time, coming left, offers coming from left and right and left and right. For some of you, you don't have the want to stay in nobody. You don't, you're do not. you not allowing people to stay, even though you have that passion, you know, to be driven towards a relationship. Taurus, you know what it is. You bring the beauty to things. For some of y'all, you have a fire sign that's coming back or coming into your energy during this time. Or this person could already be. They don't have stand power, Taurus. They in and out. They can't give equally as much as you give. They can't give you what it is that you're giving. And so in the end, it's leaving you feeling a certain type of way of feeling some type of way because it's just like, well, damn, I didn't gave, gave, gave expecting an outcome and somebody's going to let you down, especially if this is fire. Some of you guys are um, some of you guys want to cut off an earth sign. OK, another Taurus Capricorn Virgo. But I feel like this person. First off, this person is a stalker, if you didn't know. They be stalking all up in your shit, okay? But I feel like they keep you in this sense of indecision by giving to you financially. I feel like this person is trying to hold you having to do with money, even though they don't want to. Even with this earth sign energy, I feel like they don't want to stay. I feel like they want to be in and out. I mean, there's a lot of passion with this person. However, this person is only around you for the, for the coin, okay? And you're needing to see the beauty of the self and what you can offer the self and don't allow nobody to just be a taker in your life. Some of y'all don't want to take a leap of faith with a Leo. 
some of y'all want to do this with an Aries, but you don't know with this person if you want to move forward, okay? Or if you want to end the shit. For some of y'all, you could have had an Aries cut you off, okay? And it had to do with little sharp communication or the fact that for some of y'all, it's, 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 it's something around money, okay? I am seeing something involving money. It could have to do with maybe you giving this person and possibly being sharp, sharp by the tongue, which you having to give out to this person, or this person could be doing that to you. But for some of y'all, this person could have cut you off and left you out. Now you're feeling kind of conflicted because I feel like, Taurus, you're really needing to heal this heal this vibration of indecision, indecisiveness, where I want to be. I keep hearing Daniel Jones, where I want to be, where I want to be, where I want to be. Like, you don't, for some of you, you don't know where you want to be. For some of you all, you really want to restore a situation with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, strong emphasis on the Pisces. For some of y'all, it's a Sagittarius. You really want to restore the passion you want to restore the love but for some of y'all the fact that i see no cups up in this thing for some of y'all it ain't no love it's a financial thing for some of y'all it's a financial thing in it in, in, um pretty much in, in trade for sex some of y'all are literally just got like situationships sugar daddies and sugar mamas i mean i'm just gonna be real because we family let's just go and bust it out the gate okay some of y'all are strongly dealing with people having to do it for money reasons okay but Taurus, some of y'all are doing this and you're not happy or this is being done to you and you feel the energy of the taker. You're not happy. You're not fulfilled. Spirit is trying to give you someone who is going to sow back into you the same abundance, okay? But you got to be willing to be receiving and accepting to their energy, baby. You got to be willing to do so. But some of you all... You have an earth sign that you're going to leave out, Nicole. You're going to move away from this person. And I feel like you've been wanting to take this leap of faith for quite some time. But I feel like communication with this person recently been very, very, very fucking sharp. And you just really don't know which way to go. Because, again, you want everything to be fair. You want everything to be upright. But this person is a taker. Y'all definitely have a fire sign, okay, that don't got stand power. And they take, 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 but they don't want to give you shit. For some of y'all, this is a Libra Gemini Aquarius doing this to you, and I feel like this person is a damn stalker. Okay, for some of y'all, y'all got an earth sign that's a stalker. But for some of y'all, you're needing, you're wanting to take a leap of faith with an Aries, but at the same time, you have this fear of rejection, this fear of abandonment. Some of y'all have major fucking trust issues. It's a very healing time, source, and that may be surface. That energy may come to the surface. This person may leave you out in the cold. Just until you get your mind right to figure out what the fuck do you want to do. Or you might be doing this to another person. But I strongly see fire finna get, fire finna get, the douche is chunked. Earth is, earth, earth, earth finna get, earth finna, uh, yeah, finna hear a sayonara. Okay? Air signs. I feel like if you're dealing with air signs, this person indecisive. They don't know what the fuck they want. They don't know if they want to come or go. So some of y'all finna make the decision for their ass. Sayonara. Spirit is saying be patient and have more faith. And find the power and the beauty within the self again so that you can create it and make it a part of your tangible reality. Okay? So that's what I have for my Tauruses. All right? And inspirational message that I have for you guys, familia, is my faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. Faith. Faith solid as a boulder, baby. That's what's needed. Don't, 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 don't think about where the hell you been. Just look at where you going, and don't worry about not if a mother, not e mother, mother soul can offer you that. Just trust in the fact that you can always offer it to yourself, and so be it. You shall. Do you need that person to hit me up, baby? Virgo. Cousin. What's up, baby? What's poppin'? Virgo. Who can I run to to share this empty space? Who can I run to when I need love? Some of y'all run into a Sagittarius during this time. I feel like some of y'all 
Could it also be a Leo? But for some of you all, y'all just want love. You want stability. You want someone to tell you the truth. You want loyalty. You want what it is that you put out. For some of you all, you're dealing with the Sagittarius, okay? I feel like this person, maybe in the, in the past, you and this person had a sneaky ass vibration. There was some sneaky fuck shit going on in this union, okay? But I feel like this person could have put you in a third party situation, possibly with a Scorpio or you this person. I feel that some of you all are literally inviting newness. Some of y'all are so busy trying to save somebody during this time. What you retire your cape. Put the cape in the closet, Virgo. Put the cape up, okay? Because somebody's trying to come in and give to you. Somebody's trying to, the universe is trying to give you that love, give you that wealth, give you that stability that you're looking for, but you won't let go of something. You got to let it go. You can't have your cake and eat it too, boo. For some of you all, you're trying to start something new, possibly with a Leo. You want to work on, you, you, you want to put in the work. This person wants to put in the work, okay? But you, it's going to require you, in order for this to be successful, you're going to possibly have to walk away from someone like that Scorpio. Some of y'all going to be walking away from a Scorpio to start a new beginning with a fire sign during this time. That is your Ace of Cups, baby. For some of you all, it's after healing and walking away from a third party situation and focusing on your own, focusing on your coin. Your money looks real good, honey. Your money looks good, but you're not going to get your ace of cups until you get away from the, get away from the deceptive energy. For some of y'all, you got a Gemini leave with air signs in your life. And this person don't mean you no good. This person is constantly going to bring you third party situations. And I feel like you feel that you need this person. Allow God to do God's job. Caskets don't come with no bunk beds, boo. And that's the that's some real shit. And understand that for some of y'all, y'all having to find out that even your shadow will leave you in this dark. That's you heard me. Even your shadow will leave you in this dark. Cut the lights off. Don't be afraid. What you scared for? I hear your heart beating. Don't be scared. What you scared for? You understand? I feel like Virgo. The only thing to fear is fear itself. If you want this newness, you're going to have to walk away from something. Some of y'all have a Scorpio that's coming, that's trying to come back. This person put you in a third party situation in the past. Okay. And I feel like going forward, y'all going to be in this new energy. Okay. And this person going to run back with the same damn. This person loves you. Let me first and foremost say they love you and they're very passionate about you. However, they have this deceptive, sneaky ass energy to themselves. And I feel like Virgo, you look at them and you just know. However, you don't want to see it because you have already told yourself and embedded in your head that I need this person. Some of y'all have, um, sorry, some of y'all are going to be starting something new during this time. Whoever, whoever I'm speaking to that's working on a creative en endeavor and maybe you had to walk away from a job, okay, in order to bring this newness into your life, spirit says, good job, baby, you will be blessed. That coin going to look real nice. Okay, for some of you all who are doing this and starting a creative event, don't sneak away from, don't leave your job off of, don't just, don't, don't not have the people looking for your ass and because you ain't called in and then told the people you don't want to work there no more. Don't do that. Don't, don't, it's just not polite. Don't do, <laughs> y'all play too much. <laughs> I ain't finna play. Don't do that. Some y'all are work, working it out with the earth sign. And you're walking away from the way that you, you, you once did things in order to have that newness. Some of y'all is definitely digging on the Leo. Okay? But I strongly feel like some of y'all are expecting to start a situation or start something new around a third party situation. Baby, spirits say, uh uh, it ain't happening. You need to have more faith and more love for yourself and more respect for yourself than that. You don't deserve. That's not. That's that. That's that's you settling and putting limits on shit. No, we cannot help who we love, but we can definitely set boundaries for ourselves. So this person comes in and understand and, and and sees by example how we love ourselves in order to follow and follow how you lead it. You understand? Lead with love, lead with respect, and lead with faith, knowing that spirit got you. You don't need not a mother, not e mother, mother soul. Okay. Y'all love y'all. Stop waiting on somebody to save you and save yourself. Stop trying to save other fucking people who don't want to save themselves. And that's real. And this Aries full moon going to help you right on out with that. My positive reflection words that I have for my babies during this time. 
Some of y'all also finna be getting new jobs. Congratulations, baby. When I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. You see these two hours? You see that moon? I tell you this Aries full moon finna bring y'all peace. It may be uncomfortable at first. Just trust the process and know that you got this. And everything that's in your world is what you manifested. And everything that's in your world that is that, that you manifested that you can't stand, that you don't want, that you don't like, you can also manifest the change. If you have that faith and know that peace will be still. And it is upon us, baby. Very healing time for my earth signs. If you guys need a personal reading, please hit me up. Until these October generals in just a few days, I love you. Much love, much light, many blessings, and much abundance to you, my babies. I love y'all, familia. Namaste. Mwah.